Sometimes what we think are the burdens in our lives reveal themselves as our greatest mm -hmm. blessings. So well said. And in the Buckley Report tonight, Bob has the story of a pair of sisters from Greensboro who, like many people with big social media followings, discovered being themselves was the key to success. You can call your sister. Our mom passed away from breast cancer when I was 26. Mallory was 20, so that was kind of when I was thrown into a sibling caregiver role, and I had promised my mom that I would take care of my sister and you know, whatever iteration of the word care meant. What Tiffany McDowell has always wanted for her sister Mallory was simply a life. When I was 16, I walked into Taco Bell and said, you know, I'd have a brain and two fingers that can push buttons, could have a job. And they gave me a job. There was no IQ test. There was no doctor's notes. There was no psychological examination. And we weren't asking someone to make Mallory the CEO of a company. We were just asking someone to give her a chance to provide some level of a living for herself. To do that. The bracelets are sliding, not bracelets. So they're one size fits all. They created a business. This was one of our top selling charms. It says, I love someone with Down syndrome. It's called Mallory Page Designs. So every bracelet gets a charm, a mustard seed and a vial, and then Mallory's initials stamped into a charm. Tiffany and Mallory make the jewelry by hand. A mustard seed represents hope. And they've found that it speaks to anyone dealing with a challenge in life. It's just something to, to be able to like look at and remember that something so small could, you know, faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. And like a lot of businesses, Tiffany used social media like TikTok to get their name out there. So when did social media begin to you know, to some degree, blow up for you. Story time. I'm sitting in a hotel room in Houston, Texas. When I was six years old, I wanted nothing more than a baby sister. I'd actually gone and worked out. So in the video, I'm like sweaty and I have like my hair is a mess and makeup is disgusting. And I'm just telling the story, the one I just told you. 20 years later, we lost our mom to metastatic breast cancer. Mallory moved in with my family and I became a sibling caregiver. And I went to bed with a couple hundred followers and woke up the next day with 14,000. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Neither was their business. Sales have grown a thousand percent since 2020 as Tiffany and Mallory continue to share their lives with everything from Cheetos Fridays. Are you new here? Yeah. <laughs> to Mallory's other big news. I know, beautiful. Did you know that you liked him as soon as you saw him? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Mallory now has a boyfriend. Hey, cuties. Hey. You sound like the Fonz. Hey. <laughs> they just celebrated two years. He makes me laugh. He does make you laugh. We hear you across the house. He also has Down syndrome. His name is Steven, and he is the best boyfriend in the world. So much so that it inspired a t-shirt summing up what so many of their social media followers say that they want. Love me like Steven loves Mallory. And that, they hope, is the moral of this story. Everyone loves someone who is considered disabled. And I think people are looking for hope that, you know, life doesn't end with a diagnosis. Where's this going? Where's this going to be in five or ten years? Hopefully we've redefined that you don't have to be what the world considers perfect to deserve attention. Bob uh, Buckley. Moves on to for desperate Love Mallory Payne. Love Mallory Payne. Fox 8 News.